Honorable speakers, distinguished guests and colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to welcome you all to the annual Academia Industry Exchange organized by the Institute of International Business and Governance of Hong Kong Metropolitan University. On behalf of the organizing committee, I would like to thank you all for your virtual presence at this event. Two years ago, many researchers predicted that the pandemic was likely to last for two years. Now, two years have gone by and COVID-19 seems to have become endemic. In order to protect conference goers and presenters and following national travel guidance and the advice of regional health authorities, last year's conference was held online. Today, online and hybrid events have become the norm. Virtual events used to be unfamiliar to many of us, but within a year or two, such innovations have become the standard practice for most conferences and even a regular part of our daily life. The main theme of today's conference is entitled Business as Usual, How Do We Turn the New Normal into Normal? Two years ago, it was hard indeed to envisage the importance of establishing the new normal and the need for building merit into the newly set standards. What is so fascinating about gathering business researchers to share their ideas is that researchers in this particular domain can always find something researchable across different units of analysis and across different hierarchies. And to create and capture values beyond organizational boundaries by taking multidisciplinary approaches. They attempt to provide solutions for consumers, solutions for firms, solutions for society, and solutions for economies. New and improved business ideas, innovations come from hardship. Hardship has transformed businesses into organizations that are now more resilient and more advanced in the business strategies. The pandemic has surprisingly unlocked a whole array of post-crisis growth. New demands have emerged and business leaders must respond to them and set new research priorities for the changing landscape. Today, I'm particularly interested in learning from local, regional and international practitioners and guests on how they discover new paths to re reconcile with post-pandemic recoveries and sustainability. We have a two-day conference this year. The first day is an academic conference that brings together academics from across relevant disciplines of business and social sciences to share their ongoing research and practical insights. In a collaborative effort, they will address the challenges they are currently facing and the preparation needed to ensure growth. The second day is the practitioner's symposium on the theme from agility to sustainability, hunting talents in the era of new normal. We have invited professionals in talent development to present their latest ideas, methods and technologies for reaching solutions for uncertainty that lie ahead of us. Today, we're very lucky to have well-renowned HR expert, Professor Wayne Castle, as our keynote speaker. Professor Castle is a distinguished professor emeritus and co-founder of the business school at the University of Colorado, Denver. He is also the former president of the Society for Industrial and Organizational Psychology. He will be updating us on how leading firms recruit and retain talents. At the Practitioner's Symposium, we will have two keynote speakers, Professor Randy Chiu, Professor Emeritus at Hong Kong Baptist University, and Professor Ken Kamuchi, Professor of HRM and Organization Studies at Nottingham University Business School. The two professors will lead us to a discussion on the increasing complexity of modern human resources issues on both micro and macro levels. 
Additionally, we'll be holding two panel discussion sessions. In the first session, we will compare talent hunting in the past and in the future. In the second session, our guest speakers will focus on the role of technology in the development of human capital. There will be a lot of learning for us all, and we look forward to a very productive conference. Finally, please allow me to express our sincere thanks and appreciation to our supporting organizations. Once again, thank you in advance for your participation and contribution. Honorable members, ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure and honor to declare the conference officially open. I hope you will all enjoy what our sessions have to offer. Thank you very much. Best wishes to you all.